I shifted. Well, I guess I can just do this. There. We go. there. All right. Oh, and we are live. Welcome to Dave Cameron's podcast. This is a very special night. I got Mitchell Garcia with us tonight. He played for me. Shoot, all of free high school. All of free, yeah. Holy oh. crap. All of free, what year? Uh, Can't go. 2000. That. 2003, 2004. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that was a while back. 2003 and 4. At Olafria, and then he uh, went to Phoenix College, uh, played two years there. I have a dog, barking dog, which we'll definitely hear. That's why I do YouTube first, and I go Facebook. Facebook, I'll like get like a ton of viewers and stuff. YouTube, nothing. Go watch like the next day, but. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll save all the good stuff for Facebook. I guess we can say it twice, but the scrutiny was uh, interesting. So I remember what, there's like 20 coaches around the, the field at Reach 11. You played for the Cisco Poltros. Yeah, yeah. And then you decided to go punch a lot of people. And <laughs> The ref. Did you punch or push the ref? No, I pushed the ref. There was a kid who kind of pulled, tried to pull me back from the uh, – the 50 50 ball, and he kind of got the back end of it, pulled my jersey, and threw me to the ground. So I got up, you know, took a swing, and then the ref came close and gave me a yellow, and I pushed the ref. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome because then all the college recruiters that like were recruiting Mitch, he was like, eh, we're not going to deal with him. And then I'm like, I'm in. I'm like, Mitch, what's up, brother? <laughs> yeah, Welcome to Phoenix that. College. You have anger issues. Phoenix College is a place to be. So yeah, we grabbed uh, Mitchell Garcia and, uh, in two years at Phoenix College, did not get one red card. I did get one. You got red? Double yeah. yellow? No, it was uh, – I remember against Pima. We uh, we were up – I red. remember you went to the bus. Yeah, we were up once. Oh, maybe I didn't get a red. You didn't get red. No, I didn't get a red, but I did go to the bus after the game. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, I don't think I got a red. No. And then you became her captain. Yeah. And then you uh, went on to Grand Canyon University. Yep. Um, and then – Tell us the rest. I pulled up your wiki. So I went to uh, I went to Grand Canyon for uh, I played under Peter Jackson. Uh, I played there for two years, and after that I went overseas and played a little bit in Poland. Uh, ended up coming back after like a half a season there, and uh, played a little bit of PDL in Vermont. Um, Voltage. Yeah, under Bo Bo Vukovic. Is he still there? Uh, yeah, he still runs the organization, but they're not PDL anymore. I think they just kind of play like freely. He did really well with his uh, with his camp, so I think that's yeah. where his. He's his, a great indoor player. Yeah, he was he was a very good indoor player. So yeah, we uh, went there, and then he took me to Serbia. I was there for a bit, um, and I came back after Serbia, and then I signed to the uh, to the Atlanta Silverbacks in 2014. Sweet. Yeah, and then uh, I was there for the whole year, and then left overseas again. I ended up tearing my ACL. Uh, in the season against uh, the Silverbacks. And then I ended up uh, coming back, doing well. Uh, ended up going to Australia, training with a couple first and second division teams out there. And then I came back, played here with the Silverbacks, became captain, won the league. And then we uh, I ended up going to sign with the Carolina Railhawks in the NSL as well. The following year, I went and played in the MASL with St. Louis Ambush. St. Louis Ambush. Yeah. With, uh, Who was the coach? Steamers back then when you were there. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no, so I play. I actually, actually played with the ambush. Okay. For like a month. Oh, okay. And then I decided to come back home and finish my degree. Oh, great fan base. Yeah. Great fan base. Uh, and they, then they became the Steamers. And I play like Daryl Doran was a coach both times, and then the uh, the keeper who I actually played with, Jamie. Jamie. Yeah. He was your coach. Yeah, he was the assistant. The head coach was Tony Blavin. Oh, he was assistant coach? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Did he play too? Tony so, Lavin, yeah, he played. Yeah. Keepers can play forever. Yeah, um, yeah so, yeah. It, uh, interesting story about uh, St. Louis. So, when I went, when I was uh, playing with St. Louis, I was in the locker room, and, and it was at um, halftime. Everyone's smoking. And I'm like, just smoking. I'm like, why is everyone smoking? And some of that nicotine, I guess. I, you know, I didn't get into smoking, but... Um, and they would just like take their shirt off, take their shorts off, and they're smoking. And they would wear these, um, these, uh, what I would call scuba steves. They 
were this like a scuba suit just and then they cut them that fit their their uh like spandex but they were scuba suits i mean they were thick okay and i was like what are you guys wearing they're like it holds everything together your groin everything and i'm like you know i was young back then but then i remember them telling me that and then when i got in my 30s and i was playing in a lot of games and tournaments and stuff i would put the scuba steves on uh anytime i felt like a twinge in my groin or anything i would then put it on wear it and i mean it was so tight so thick that when i take it off a cup of water would just pour out it would hold everything in it warmed everything up and it and it it felt like you're like can't breathe at first and it's hard it felt like you couldn't run but you could everything was it was amazing especially in the indoor with all the cutting yeah but have you ever worn anything like those compression sleeves up but uh no i know what you're talking about though there was a couple of players who played on the uh, the baltimore team because you can see them like through their like the color yeah. of their shorts like some of them were and i i never i never got around to them i just kind of kept to the spandex but i could see how that would be a little beneficial in indoors. oh no it's huge yeah huge anytime i, I wore it in outdoor like any, i just had them and if i felt a twinge of any kind hamstring was going quad groin anything i put those things on and they healed me like right away and it got me through it. Um, how old are you? 29. Oh, well, when you're in the 30s, if you don't have scuba steves, your career's going to come to a quick end, my friend. I kept playing until, like, not, like, professional, but as high as I could. I, I mean, I was in the over 30 national championship, like, three years in a row. I was doing Bud Cup, which we were just talking about. Yeah. Um, oh, with your Bud Cup. I represent. Well done. So this is Bud Cup. 2006 Las Vegas Silver Mug Soccer Invitational first place mug. That's what I won. It's actually a very serious tournament. It's a serious tournament. It's a huge tournament. So in order to win that tournament, back I don't know, is it still big today? Yeah, so I don't is know. It? I don't know if it's as big as it was when you were there. Uh, the first time I went was when I was playing uh, kind of semi pro indoor with the Heat, all those guys, Beach and uh, like Milos and. Some of the other guys that you grew up playing with, uh, I played with them, and I played that first tournament. We lost in the semis to a, a really a really good San. I don't remember this a San Diego team. It wasn't the soccer. It was. <coughs> yeah, they they cheat. No. Well, they don't cheat. Anyone can play. No. But they would they would fly in national yeah. team players from Mexico yeah. to play on their freaking team. They yeah. pay for this. I, yeah. I just don't for what you yeah. don't win anything. You win you win a glass. You just say you won it. Yeah, yeah. I won it. But, uh, we got lucky, but we won it. It's, it was it was a very hard tournament. I've only done it like three or four times, but every time I think I've only made it to the final once, and we ended up losing. But you know, that tournament's actually big for you know amateur players because as it as it grew back in your day when you guys kind of led it up to become the tournament that it is now, it's kind of attracts a lot of coaches. Like you know, I went there in 2014 and played with uh, Eric Winalda's team as uh, Cal FC. Yeah, Eric Winalda would play when I was playing. Yeah. He would play Lexi Law would play um there's always i mean u.s women's national team players were there i remember he went up and uh hugged one of the ones that won the the world that plan i forgot who it was but sasha hugner which i'll have on soon he's starting on a netflix special uh, okay Very as an cool. fbi agent wow a serious role which you know Sasha Hunter? no i don't no. Maybe if i saw him i would know he's a comedian Anyways, um, yeah, no, the tournament was it was crazy, and the fields sucked. And well, I think they're better today, but they sucked. Um, it was horrible. Lines were always crooked. It was such a ghetto tournament, but everyone went. Uh, oh, it was all you can drink. Oh, I after didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know. I that. don't drink, so that sucked. Oh. <laughs> so it, 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 did you get the drinks like at a hotel or? No, it was right there. Oh, at the yeah, at the right complex. there at the complex. At okay. the complex, that's I think that's why we're at the ghetto place. For, but um, no, that tournament is legit. So I was in that final. I was in the championship three years in a row, and we won it our third year in shootouts with the Badant Arsenal. And that that team was stacked. You know, we had players from everywhere. Oh, you know who's on our team? I forgot his name. You're talking about Littlefield, Dan? No, 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 Dan. Um, they, they, no, I'm talking like he was, he's a U.S. national team. 
um, played uh, LA oh, yeah. Galaxy. What's You're talking about Hauser? Chris Hauser? No, no, no. Bigger. Uh, I totally forgot his Vanny? Name. Nope. Big Vanny. Bigger. Uh, bigger than Vanny. Uh, he just uh, so big I don't remember his name. Anyways, I forgot his name, but he uh, I think he just retired. Oh, okay. Played for the Seattle Sounders, played for the Galaxy. I was still in the U.S. National. I don't think he was that good. Uh, but he worked his butt off and then just kept developing. I remember he was just on the sideline. But uh, but, anyways, I got to find, I'll find his name. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, that term was crazy. So three years in a row is in the final. That means you have to play nine games in three days. Right. Nine freaking games. It's a lot of games. Play your play your four uh, round and robin games, then you play round of 16, knockout, semis, and then finals. So we did yeah. eight. Yeah, so we did eight. So, so Sash, we're going to – or Sash, Mitch. <laughs> we're going to close this up, and then we're going to talk about what you do okay. and the kind of training you do, which I think is freaking uh, amazing. You're an amazing trainer. Uh, Thank you. And uh, I want to talk about that. I put actually see it in YouTube here. I got your soccer skills and drills. I did by Mitch Garcia. Oh, okay. Um, it's on my YouTube channel, but uh, we're gonna move on to Facebook. We're actually get viewers. We're YouTube. Is anyone even watching? Not until tomorrow. YouTubers. Uh, we're going to Facebook, where the people are. Peace.